है एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट फैकल्टीज एंड ऑल दी सपोर्टिंग स्टाफ ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी एस में अ ग्रेट ओकेजन वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी हियर in this august gathering in the presence of many academic luminaries in the prestigious bari university today and uh, <clears throat> i'm elated i'm excited and i just love to share my views with all of you uh, on the topic which has been set for this conference <coughs> that emerging trends in management law tourism and issues and challenges in sustainable development and i extend my warm welcome to each one of you that you are here and uh, we would like to share many things with you to learn from you to tell you something and interact on uh, various aspects of this specific topic and i also extend my congratulations to the honorable vice chancellor and his team especially professor sil chandan <coughs> who have taken this great initiative to uh, organize this conference on the theme ati pravidhi in which uh, you have planned to integrate three uh streams together like your law management and tourism and to give it one shape one theme and we have taken the initiative to organize this conference it's a great step great initiative and uh, equally good for students and teachers and the topic is of immense relevance i think the only point today that is pricking us is how to sustain and how to survive <coughs> whether our future generations will be able to survive or not uh and the kind of planet that will be going to leave for them our kids children coming young generation skilled trained young minds young hands whether the kind of setup or paradigm we are going to leave behind whether they will be able to survive in this or not is a big question and before that another question is are we are self surviving in this we too feel sometimes choked isn't it to survive in such an environment in which we are breathing and if at all we are feeling choked do we see a great uh, uh, things you know which are, which uh, might be easier for the coming generation so that's a very vital question to think about to ponder over and to talk about and i think we'll be talking about in this conference we'll be talking about all these uh, uh crucial questions today that is facing mankind equally whether they were india china or us or any other country in the world isn't it because uh systems are same almost i mean the kind of practices that the human being indulge in it is same almost everywhere global in terms of global perspective so i think we need to give a very deep thought to all final final uh, points in this regard now the topic you know which uh, together uh, we we need to have laws tourism will be there and management is coming up issues and challenges challenges we are always you know uh, challenges are being thrown us thrown at us always in every life uh in whatever activity we engage in 
and the endeavor of humankind is, mankind is, to grapple with those challenges and to find solutions and to mitigate the risk involved so that it becomes a healthy living for us. So that's a vital question for us. Now, as Professor Chandan uh, spoke about various uh, finer points in terms of economics, we are human beings. We have to live, we have to breathe, we have to work, we have to earn, we have to create, we need to produce. Either we produce or we perish. Either we sink or swim. This too is one of the questions before us. So the choice is whether we produce or perish. We need to produce. Simple. And if at all we have to produce, so this should be healthy production. It should be the other way around that in production itself we perish our values, we perish our principles, we perish our systems, or we perish our vision. So first thing is we don't need to perish. The second is we need to produce. But the added question is we need to produce without perishing ourselves, perishing men. So that's a big question for us. <coughs> Let's start with Gandhiji. There is a quote written by Talamji also there. If you say, salute your duty, you need not to salute anybody. And if you pollute your duty, you have to salute everybody. That's what Kalamji said. And uh, what Gandhiji said, he simply said <coughs> that we 